read my mind, then you won't mind me thinking you look like an electrocuted poodle. I do not look like a poodle. See? Stay out of my brains. <laughs> <laughs> Linda Twist listens to you. that if I'm going to be the head of the Student Representative Council, then I should be listening to my fellow students. That's great, Linda, because I... Linda Twist, I hear your pain. Yeah. Linda, I was just wondering ah, if we could... Get it, Linda. People don't want a listener. They want a leader like me. Yeah, nobody bosses people around like Gribbs does. Shut up! <laughs> Sorry, Gribbs. A vote for Gribbs is a vote for a good time! And if I don't vote for you, then you have a really bad time. Um, Linda, as your campaign manager, I reckon you should focus more on the horsey issues to nab the important pony club vote. Pete, as my campaign manager, I think you should focus more on the campaign, not the girls. Besides, I'd never sell out just to win a few votes. I'm here to represent all of the... skateboarders of the school who deserve their very own skate ramp. Skate ramp? Oh, way cool. Well, you know, it's my number one priority. Well, hey, Matt, check out this one. Wow. Hey, that guy looks a lot like you and the girl looks a lot like me, don't you think? Hey, well, yeah. Well, except for the hair. I mean, hey, <laughs> her hair is way cool. We'll catch her. For someone who doesn't sell out, you did way well. How about this? Do not ask how you can listen to Linda. But ask how Linda can listen to you. Since Linda started listening, it's hard to get a word in. Hey, I have to give my campaign speech on Friday. It's not that I care about losing, it's just that I don't want Gribbs to win. He's just out for himself. Speaking of greedy Gribbles... Tony, terrible news, terrible. What's wrong, Harold? It's tragic, truly tragic. Are you staying on as mayor? Yes. No, no, that's not it. No, there's an epidemic racing right down the coast. Concrete cancer. I'm worried about the lighthouse. The lighthouse? As a friend, I have taken it upon myself to commission some simple, non-destructive tests, just to be sure. To that end, I have here Dr. Cloyden, the leading concrete cancer expert in the district. Professor, actually, Julius H. Clayton, PFB, Professor of Forensic Bricology. And of course, hello, Manfred, my assistant. Oh, oh, that's a very double. Well, I should better check it out. Oh, excellent. All right, then. Well, I think we'll uh, start with uh, calibrating the flange configurator. Flange configurator. Or is that the flange grapple? Uh, we have both. Oh, we have both. Uh, well, let's start with the uh, sonic analysis of the brick Sonic analysis, yes. Okay. I need a new me. Can you do this? Oh, yeah, sure. I'm not sure exactly how long it will take, though, because I am sort of new here. But you can do the do, though. Oh, sure, I can do the do. I can do the do for you today. You can come back tomorrow. My boss can do the new you do for you. What do you want to do? Let's do it. Oh, man. Oh, I know, I know. I can get this new curling solution. It's experimental. It'll make your hair curl. This song for you. Lots of body, okay? Does that feel okay? Perfect. exactly like the magazine, but guess what? It's better. It's the new you. Now, um, it, it might smell a little bit after a day or two, and you better not get it wet, because otherwise it might fall out. The curls, that is, not your hair. <laughs> anyway, you look fantastic. This is exactly how I expected it to turn out. Ew, does she look like a poodle or what? A poodle? Oh, no! No, I, I said oodle. 
oodles. You're going to get oodles of, of guys are going to think you look fantastic with this sort of hair. What is she staring at me for? And, and it'll look great with a hat. A really big hat. So you're assuring us this is a simple, non-destructive test. Relax, Tone. Your property is in the hands of experts. Linda? Is that you? Hi. Well, do you like my new hairdo? Uh, oh, yeah, it's, it's um, very stylish. Stylish? <laughs> very stylish for a poodle. You look fine, Linda. It suits you. And it'll suit James, too. It'll be a shoe in of the election now that she looks like that. <laughs> Is that entirely necessary? Very hungry, very hungry, very hungry, very hungry, very hungry, very hungry, very hungry. Yes! Honestly, I, I think the new looks great. Oh no, my political career is over. Who said I'm going for a poodle head? I don't look like a poodle. A poodle? I never said anything about a poodle. Did I? Enough poodle talk. Let's eat. Yes. This looks great, Tony. Mm. But it'll look even better if it had gherkins and maple syrup on it. Everything looks better with gherkins and maple syrup since you've been pregnant. Very interesting. Very interesting. That's true. I've got ESC. Extrasensory curls. Linda, we've got to talk and you've got to listen. OK? I'm all ears. That's the problem. Stop reading our minds. We don't like it. <laughs> I can't read minds. Oh, yeah? If you can't read my mind, then you won't mind me thinking you look like an electrocuted poodle. I do not look like a poodle. See? Stay out of my brains. Yeah, no more reading minds. Except, of course, for the election. What? Well, come on. I mean, you'd be mad not to. You know, you'd... Find out what the voters really want and then you just... Pete, I would never misuse my powers like that. What you're suggesting is unfair, immoral and an invasion of privacy. Goodbye and good riddance. Does that mean you'll think about it? Maybe... <gasps> what happened to your hair? Oh, well, do you like it? Uh, it's different. Reminds me of a small French breed of dog. You're all the same. What are you doing here anyway? Hmm, can I cannot trust her. Of course you can trust me. I'm a politician. A, li a little further to the left, Manfred. A little further. Excellent. Hmm. No cue for the shower this morning. Morning, Linda. Did you get up early to avoid the rush? No. I skipped my shower this morning. If I get my hair wet before the election, I might lose my, uh, curls. Oh, the election. I should be helping Linda more. I don't spend enough time with the kids anyway. It'll only be harder with a new baby. Don't worry, Dad. You spend plenty of time with us. And we love you. Careful, Dad. She's a mind reader. Oh, yeah? And what are you supposed to be? A couple of baked potatoes. <laughs> Give me that. OK, what am I thinking now? The usual. <laughs> Girls. Yeah, but, um, what else? I don't know. All I can get is this crinkling noise. Yes! My idea worked! No more equations of privacy! Yeah, Linda. Foiled again. I promise free cheeseburgers for anyone who votes for me. Yeah, and free knuckle burgers for anyone who doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Linda yeah. Twist listens. <laughs> who wants someone that's going to listen with their ears instead of talking with their fists? Oh. Oh. Hey, Linda, where are your ears anyway? <laughs> Vote for me and you'll be sending groups a message that might is not right. Yeah. Vote for the poodle head. And you'll be sending everyone a message from intensive care. Yeah. <laughs> Vote for me, and I'll take the hassle out of student politics. Yeah, I'm not going to pester you when you sleep about what you want. I'll make this decision for you, but rather place mine. What I really want is concerts at lunchtime. That'll get my vote. Uh, 
Music's important. Uh, Why don't we ask for lunchtime concerts? Yeah, yeah Linda. Huh? <laughs> what about the school song? It's so boring. And let's rewrite the school song. Maybe something that we could dance to. That's exactly what I was thinking. Like, what for what? What's going on? And we need to update the school uniform. And more excursions. Oh, and better food at the tuck shop. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> well, what do you think of my hair? Oh, the hair? <laughs> I, yeah, it's way cool. <laughs> what? Um, that hat isn't aluminium by any chance, is it? Huh? <laughs> Nothing. Don't worry. If I get elected, I promise horse riding lessons every week. Yeah! A vote for me is a vote for less homework. Yeah. And longer lunch times. All right. And, of course, a romantic dinner followed by a moonlit stroll along the beach. Is it that obvious? <laughs> vote one. Linda the listener! Without wanting to be rude, your new hairdo... It wouldn't have an... An odour, would it? No, no, I don't... You don't want to wash out your curls, but... It is rather... Unpleasant. Look, I can't think about smelly hair right now. The election's tomorrow. I have to focus all my energy on the campaign. Oh, Linda, we, we do understand all that. It's just that it's, um, it's getting a bit whiffy. Don't you listen to them, Linda. They don't understand what it's like to be in politics. Getting close to your peak. What qualities do we look for in a leader? That question is fundamental to the democratic process. Selection of an appropriate leader is one of the most I... important decisions faced by any um, society. Throughout... Do you mind if I sit there? Um, techniques. no, but um, Elections. I'll be sitting over there. A time-honoured forum for the airing of political views, whereby the winds of change can blow through a government. Oh, I wish those winds would blow a bit harder when some people air their views, eh, sir? <laughs> your jokes are about as good as your election chances, Gribs. Okay, Crinkle Boy, I'm no mind reader, but I sense that you're going to let us in on Linda's big secret. I don't know anything. All I know is that she came home from the hairdressers with ESP. You know, extra cemetery reception. That's it. The poodle do's giving her psychic powers. <gasps> well, shave her head. She'll never win with a chrome dome. Yeah. Now, that's why I'm the leader and you two are just the muscle. No vision. Forget shaving. It's time to fight fire with fire. <laughs> yeah. Speak and Linda will listen. Ask and Linda will promise. Vote and Linda will win. Linda, this is really delicate, but if your campaign manager can't tell you, nobody can. You stink bad. I'm talking lung-burning, gut-churning, stomach-turning foul. I mean it. If you don't wash up now, you'll be washed up tomorrow, full stop. Linda, I don't care how bad you smell. Anyone promising a four-day school week gets my vote. OK, point taken. But there are other things. I mean, you're making all these promises that you can't hope to keep. 
What are you going to do if you win? A lot more good than if Gribs does, that's for sure. I listen, Pete, and I care. And if I've got to fudge a few promises to get elected, then so what? It'll all be worth it in the end. Maybe you used to care, Linda. But this new hairdo's brought out a whole new you. And I'm not sure I like her at all. I want the same hairdo you gave Linda Twist. Well, that's a girl's do. Do you want me to do a girl's do to you, do you? I do. <laughs> all my listening power. Oh, well. At least you lost the poodle look too. Your consideration is overwhelming. No, 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 you listen to me. I can't believe I'm saying this, but for my money, you can't lose. I mean, look at you. You're, you're smart. You're honest. And you care. You thought you could win the election before you had ESP. So I don't see why you can't now. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Pete. That was exactly what I need to hear. Well, as you can see, the results were, um, well, really nothing short of amazing and um, marvellous. Oh. Bad news, I'm afraid, Tony. The brick biopsy is positive. Incurable concrete cancer. You're going to have to evacuate immediately. Evacuate? You see that? Uh, look, I know this is a shock, but look, I tell you what I'll do. As a friend, I'm prepared to take the place off your hands for a modest amount. Anything right? about concrete cancer? This says AU, 40%. Yes. Mm -hmm. AU. AU, that's the letters that scientists use to mean gold. No, you're thinking of G-O-L-D. AU, absolutely unstable. No, 40%. the lighthouse was built during the gold rush. The bricks and mortar are full of it. You're full oh. of it. Gold? Well, are you sure? Fascinating stuff. You learn something new every day. Yes, you do, Harold. Look, in the light of this, I, um, I suppose the fair thing to do would be to offer to up the ante, just yes. the overheads. You'll never learn, the, Harold. Um, the this ESP thing, contagious, is it? You... Right, that's it! Two full bottles of special solution. So he can read anyone's mind he likes. Well, then you should already know. I think you look like a fungus head. Come, come, and see just how it was about to begin. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our election day address. Yeah. Yeah. Rips, is it working yet? No, not yet. Think harder. Okay. Now, our first candidate, Linda Twist. When I first started my campaign, I thought listening was easy. But the more I listened, the more there was to stop me from hearing. Ambition, self-interest, odour. <laughs> and the temptation to make promises that I couldn't keep. But I still believe in the voice of the people and I'll always be ready to listen first and then speak. Vote one, Linda Twist! And now, James Gribble.
Yeah, well, um, you know, um, vote for me um, and I'll help you. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, my policies rock. Why am I nervous talking to these morons anyway? I've bribed most of them. Bribes? What bribes? How come I didn't get one? Because you're a loser. Like everyone else in the room. Like Dad says, hearing his thoughts. voters are mushrooms. You're going to keep them in the dark and feed them fertiliser. <laughs> this whole election's a joke He's anyway. thinking out loud. I shouldn't have to be up here. We're gribbles. We're born to leave. James, I think that's good enough. Get your hands off me, you dog. <laughs> when I'm elected, I'll make everyone give me their lunch. But he's, he's telling the truth in public. He never learned it from me. I won't even come to school. This is a disgrace. Give him off. Give him off. Put him video. James has made his policies quite clear. And now it's time for you all to cast your votes. Thank you. No way cool enough. So, um, you want to come watch me skateboard this other? Uh, thanks a lot, Hugh, but maybe some other time. Hey, Linda, I thought you really liked you. Yeah, at first, but... You don't have to be telepathic to realise there's less to him than meets the eye. Way less. And I must not think about Dad lying about that concrete cancer. What if someone hears? <laughs> Shush! James, will you shut up? Stop thinking. And what if Mum finds out that Dad bought her last birthday present at the op shop? <laughs> there are op shops and op shops, my You hub. told me that was an incredibly exclusive and expensive. It was, it was incredibly expensive. I showed it to everyone, dude. Idiots. <laughs> Sometimes they're almost <laughs> as stupid as tigers and rabbits. No, that's impossible. Nobody says to me. Hey! Turn down the lights! Hey, guys! Oh, right, that's it. You're my sec for my re-election team. Ah!